Welcome again to another GT Truck Guide. My real name is Angeli Nostroza. So for today, the truck that I'm gonna use for this guide is the pretty famous one, which is Spa Franco Champs. And the car that I'm gonna use is the Jaguar F-Type Group 3. So now, let's begin. So starting the lap, heading into La Source, you have to brake right here, exactly at this point. A straight line braking, then a little bit of trail braking, and you want the car to rotate. Your steering input uh, needs to be a little bit fast. So uh, you follow this line and you exit the corner using all the track available. And now heading into Eau Rouge. Well, actually, it's pretty hard to get it right, but you have to cut this part of the track with the with the curve. Follow this line. And right here, uh, with this car, you have you have to lift a little bit, following this line lifting, and then going full throttle at this point. And again, right along, you have to cut the the curve. And anyway, just a camel straight and going full throttle, heading into the next few corners. So here, you have to brake just where the curve starts, right here. Use a little bit of uh, this left side uh, curve. Following this line, trail braking is crucial here. So you follow this line right here. Don't touch the red th thing coming up from the right side. Uh, so you follow this line, adjusting my, my racing line. Don't go too wide here. You, you will want to use uh, like 50% of the track then here, open up a little bit for the next corner, and here you you don't have any braking reference or uh, lifting reference. So the better, the, the more you practice, the better you get it. So you have to follow this line right here, and again using all the track available at the exit. So the next one, you have to stick to the inside as soon as you can, using trail braking until this point around here, trail braking around here. And now we can start applying throttle just a little bit. And then at this point right here, you go full throttle. Then open up, use the curve on the right side. And then again, stick to the inside. You have to make a little bit of late apex and using all the track available. That means using the, the curve that I just used. So for here, you have to break uh, after the 50 meter board around here. Don't don't apply the 100% of the brakes, just like 75%. You, you don't want to, to break too hard here. So trail braking here is crucial. You have to follow this line, which is quite hard. Uh, somehow late apex here use uh, all the track available again open up and then try to stick to the inside for the next one right here following this line going full throttle here and using all the track available heading into the s's you have to break around here after the 50 meter ball trail braking is crucial here so don't forget to do that you follow this line trail braking obviously as i said before Sticking to the inside, you will want to, to take this line because open up too much will, will result in losing time. So you, you do a late apex here, sticking to the inside again and using all the track available. That means this curve, don't, uh, don't touch the green part. So you use uh, this curve on the exit and the next one, you break here around here, but don't apply the 100% of the brakes, just like 80 or 90%. That's why I personally prefer. So tray braking again is crucial as on every corner on this track. So you follow this line, a uh, late apex. Then again, using all the track available, that means just this curve, don't touch the green part. And for the next one, it's pretty hard to get it right because uh, you don't have any reference, but you, what you need to do is lifting a little bit, following this line, late apex again, because uh, the next one is a straight line. So you take this line, 
and at this point you, you, you should be going full throttle. So uh, heading into Blanchimont, it's it's really it's really important this corner because that would mean uh, uh, time gaining <laughs> heading into the, the chicane. So you have to open up here using this part of the track and then lifting a little bit and going at this point going full throttle. So again, using all the track available, but just that curve, nothing else. So heading to the chicane, you need to brake around here, exactly here. So it's just a straight line braking. But what you need to do here, uh, as I said in the previous in the previous uh, GT track guide on Laguna Seca, Gran Turismo Sport allows you to cut. So you need to follow this line and cut the curve all the curve that you that you can cut actually so following this line right here without getting penalized this line you take this line and then for the next one you head you you stick to the inside as soon as soon as you can and you cut this part of the of the curve but without touching the the red one so you do this a pretty easy one actually and uh, well, you use all the track available at the exit, and that would be a lap in the famous Spa Franco Champ. So, what comes next is my hot lap. So, I, I hope it helps you. And uh, don't forget to watch the telemetry to pay attention to it. So, you're gonna see what I meant on every corner of this GT track guide. So, well, let's begin the hot lap. And well, that would be my GT track guide for today. I hope you enjoyed it. So don't forget to drop a like on the video to follow Jazz Heat on every social media that the team has. So again, thanks for watching and see you next time.